Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Pisces. So let's see what messages are going to show up for you today. In case this reading resonates with you, Pisces, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Now let's see what do we have for you, Pisces. What's the message that wants to come through for you, Pisces? If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can. The link, um, the link is in the description box below for you guys. Okay, let me actually move the camera a little bit. Okay. So let's see, Pisces, what message do we have for you? What's going to show up? What's happening for Pisces? You may be experiencing some changes when it comes to things that you're passionate about, Pisces. Stepping outside your comfort zone. There's also something here that's pushing you forward, okay? Uh, helping you step outside your comfort zone. We have foundation and achievements. Very good. We have recognition and reward, which is also very good. And then we have obstacles and challenges with the passion ignited. So this is a card that, you know, it's sliding out of the deck. <laughs> uh, waiting game, base chakra. So it, it to me, it looks like Pisces, you're tired of something here. There's also this energy of a particular situation causing emotional discontent you know it's and it's 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 making you want to step back i do feel here pisces that you're having a hard time with something and i'm going to clarify and see what this is but for now whatever it is that you're going through it's taking you forward towards a new path with that passion ignited energy um I do see here that there is a promotion or a step forward when it comes to your money, your goals, your financial situation. You may be getting um, recognition and reward for something. Um, it's like your work is getting recognized. N number four is showing up a lot in this reading. So that could be an important number for you. Rest and rejuvenate. You may feel like Pisces that you need to take a break from something, okay? It's like that me time energy, material harvest, which is the nine of pentacles. So three of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Money is looking really good for you. Your sense of stability here. That's the foundation. We have emotional loss and authority. So I see you taking back control over your life, Pisces. I really feel like when it comes to you going through something emotionally, you're going through it, but you're not letting it define you. You're getting number five again with another number five, which number five is the number of challenges. So there is definitely something tough here that you went through or that you may be going through. But it's like regardless of what this is, you're still choosing to move forward. Now with that obstacle and challenges card, it's it's like the person is hesitating to move forward, take a step forward with something because there's that missing pathway. So Pisces, it almost looks like, yes, the circumstances may not be favorable but it's like you have to trust your ability to overcome something and if this is something emotional if this is something that you feel a great um, sense of connectivity with spirit is definitely telling you to take your power back okay this is a time for you to invest in things that you are passionate about uh, specifically, this is about your career. This is about things that you love to do, taking back control, also not giving into temptations or that addictive energy of something. Okay. Heartache and loss. new beginning yeah so you may have gone through a heartbreak here okay there's this sense of you feeling lost but then the new beginning card is right next to it so it's like that pain is helping you 
to move forward with something, okay? This is really about new beginnings, a new start in your life. That's, that's what this is um, helping you move forward towards, okay? New beginnings. This is the Fool card. This is about taking a chance with something, okay? <clears throat> so now I'm going to have a look at your tarot cards and see what's up. Some of you may also be thinking that you want to stay single, you know, instead of dating someone and then feeling like it's still something that's not fulfilling or it's still something here that, you know, you have doubts about. All right, this is better. So let's move on to your tarot portion now and see what messages are going to come through for you, Pisces. Let's see, Pisces. So let's see, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups, the Hermit, um, Pisces, I do see right now you're in this energy of feeling like there's something that's just not working out for you and it's also making you contemplate about other things in your life. It's like you're looking at a situation, you're closely observing a situation and you're realizing certain things and i feel like even though that cup is being offered to you there's that emotional connectivity with someone you just don't feel satisfied with it you just don't feel like it's like you you think that there's someone who's not able to get you and you're ready for things to change and this is like a change that's happening within you pisces with that hermit energy this is about you there's a lot of focus on self okay you're trying to focus more on yourself is is what i'm getting yeah the empress card so this is about your glow up this is about who you are this is about focusing on yourself and i believe this also showed up in your all signs reading you can have a look at it it is up on my channel um so this is about your glow up. I also feel like Pisces, people are going to be complimenting you. Your energy, your aura is very attractive right now. And it's like you're recognizing that you're not supposed to stay stuck here, okay? You're supposed to be moving forward. Let's see what's your challenge, the chariot. Um with that obstacle and challenges card and the chariot i feel like pisces your challenge here has to do with lack of motivation with something and also feeling like you know something is not picking up momentum okay the way that it should let's see what's the outcome here for you pisces ace of wands so you're getting double uh ace of wands energy where's the ace of wands card did I put it back in the deck? Oh my goodness, it did show up before. <laughs> so this is really about finding things that you are passionate about, Pisces. Um, things that float your boat. Um, a lot of you are also breaking free from toxic patterns, toxic cycles, things that you feel, um, you know, they just no longer serve you. My goodness, I don't know why I put the Ace of Wands back in the deck, but it was here, I do remember. So, let's see the energy of the person you're dealing with, and then I'm going to clarify your other cards. And what's the advice for Pisces? 
So I'm going to have a look at these energies in a bit. What's that Four of Cups for Pisces? Now, the Wheel of Fortune here is telling me that whatever is happening, it is supposed to happen. This is something that's a part of your destiny, Pisces. Okay, this is something that's a part of your destiny. Yeah, you feel confused. Uh, some of you may have a choice to make when it comes to a relationship. There's something here about a relationship or a particular person you're connecting with. Um, and you you kind of feel like you're on the edge, you know, you're it's like you're I don't know, you just don't feel satisfied in a particular situation, particularly if this is something involving your emotions, your feelings. Uh, some of you may have a choice between two different people um, or the person that you're currently dealing with. You're having doubts about whether or not this person is there for you. And I feel like the reason for that is the lies, the deception. And to me, it's looking like Pisces. You're trying to kind of, without having to be rude, you're just trying to create boundaries here with this person, okay? You want to step up for yourself. You want to stand up, you know, stand stand up for yourself. Yeah, whatever. You want to have boundaries so that the other person is not taking advantage of you, okay? Um, it's like you're not letting someone's energy take take over your energy, okay? Because it is too overwhelming, okay? What's that hermit card about? I feel like Pisces, some of you are also stressed out about money these days or there could be some financial issues going on. If it's not that, you're deeply looking into a situation which seems to be a dead-end situation and you feel like you need to be protecting your peace and protecting your mental health from this. So that's where your energy is right now. And it's very, um, your energy is very self-contained at the present moment. What's that um, Empress, what's that Empress about for Pisces? What's that Empress energy for Pisces? Eight of Swords. Pisces, you're, you're recognizing your worth, your value, and you're very slow to give your energy into something now because you feel like you were wearing, you know, your, it's, it's like wearing your heart on your sleeve and then being like, I shouldn't have expressed all that. So you're taking a step back from expressing your love towards someone because you you may feel like the more you were there for them maybe they were taking you for granted you're recognizing who you are because to me it's looking like you lost yourself in some someone or something and even though it's causing you emotional distress you're still choosing to move forward towards new beginnings and you have a lot of new stuff to look forward to some of you may even have new travel plans or new stuff here because it's like the woman is standing on top of the world so she has the ability to to, to manifest what she wants there is that money energy here for you recognition but emotionally and mentally there's exhaustion here that you're going through okay so even though Pisces, you're surrounded by blessings, by good energies, there's also just like something is up here and you want to change that. Why is the chariot Pisces challenge? Why is that the challenge for Pisces? Some of you may be disconnecting from a Cancer or a Libra. Um, you're very careful with what this friendship or this connection is bringing you. You're having a hard time connecting with people who just like your vibe and they're, it's like you don't vibe with them anymore. And you're taking a step back. You're making a rational decision here. And some of you need to look at a friendship or a particular situation in your life where you're great friends with the person, but you also have to look at it and see whether it's serving you, whether it's aligning with your values. Um, because yeah, there's a connection, there's this energy here causing stress and anxiety, and you feeling like things are stuck, okay? Some of you feel like things are stuck, 
with the person. Yeah, the lovers and the five of swords. There is deception. There's this energy of playing mind games. I keep seeing love, but I also see like this energy of deception and lies here. Pisces, it's better that you take some time out for yourself and focus on other things because the kind of energy you're surrounded by right now, it's it's also giving you the ick and now it's giving me the ick as well, okay? What's the Ace of Wands for Pisces for their outcome? Hangman, yeah, you do need to take some time out for yourself. Pisces, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So Spirit is telling you that you don't need to sit around and wait for nobody. You have it all. You have it, you know. See how far you have come. You make your own money. You do your own thing. So you don't need to be focusing your energy on something that's not even worth your time to begin with. Okay. I feel like Pisces, you need to take your time with something and also protect your peace. Protect your peace. So let's have a look at your person's energy. We have five of wands. And your advice from the reading judgment, make your own decision, Pisces. Decide for yourself. What's that five of wands here for their person's energy? I'm going to have a look at your person's energy in depth in your extended reading. So that will be linked below. How they view you, where are things going, new person's energy, blessings, challenges, all of that. Where is your love life headed towards? It does look like Pisces, this person is in love with you. And this person can be controlling as well at times. Um, this is a person who wants to do as they please. Yeah, they're coming in with a dominant energy, Pisces. This person knows your worth, your value, but it's like they bring in drama and conflict. Maybe it's because of other people or it's just because of something that they do. Now, I'm getting here that the feminine energy in this connection is more stable than the masculine energy. So that's for you to decide. That's for you to decide. And this person knows it. Why is the judgment here? Six of Swords. Pisces, there are things that you need to walk away from because they don't serve you anymore. It's like making a decision to walk away from stuff that, you know, doesn't deserve your energy, stuff that is toxic. Seriously, you know, this reading is so straight to the point that it's lovely, actually. I, I like readings like these. It's very much clear that there's something toxic that you need to walk away from. There's something toxic here that, you know, um, it just no longer serves your energy, Pisces. And you have to make that decision for yourself, whether you want to do this or not, whether you want to invest in this or not, actually. You know? Let's see, what is the message for your finances, Pisces? What's the message for your finances? Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. There's a lot that is unfolding for you that you don't see coming, Pisces. explorer keep trying there are no mistakes just opportunities to learn and grow you may be called to explore careers that match your fearlessness and curiosity you may need to go wandering and trust the unknown that's where the magic lies let's see health um, prioritize your health some of you could be doctors or you could be going to the doctor i don't know there there's also something here about your looks some of you could be improving your looks um, but spirit is telling you to take care of yourself your mental health but also do not be afraid to step outside your comfort zone there's really you know something here about you know you manifesting abundance or you manifesting something when you least expect it 
Pisces. Okay, so that's about it. Those were the messages that came through for you today. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a look at the extended link below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.